Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club with me, Penta Hybrid. It's time for us to write another poem. My headphones are all twisted around for some reason. Let's try and fix that real quick. Get that real fixed. There you go. Fix it just like that. We'll make them all comfy and whatnot again. All right. Heartbeat. No! Graveyard. No, wait. Rain cloud? No! So is that no? Vibrant. Oh, there it is. Uh, question. No, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the one. That's the one right there. Is it broken? No. Uh, journey. Yes. Entropy. Yes. Infinite. Yes. Death. No. Boop. I knew boop was going to be here, but I had to click the boop. Tenacious. Portrait. Disoriented. Destiny. Infallible. Unstable. Eternity. Philosophy. Heaven sent. Oh my god. Shame. No. Melancholy. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over in the past couple days. Entering the club room. Club room. The usual scene greets me. Hi, Penta. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're already in the mood today. I'm just still not used to being in the club, that's all. Or used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing you got in, or, to get you into a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Huh? Why that? All of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you were not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves one option. Ah, I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in a... In her book, as always. Ah! I wasn't listening to you or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Penta to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in like the, like the Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling the mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think of that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Curious that she says that. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys that we were bringing the club before... Hey, it's so late! I should be recording right now, I'm so tired. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, you wouldn't have come if it wasn't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Whap. Out of, out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! That was, what was... A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's probably Natsuki threw at your face. Is it because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you all blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Natsuki. That's so nice of you. 
I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big old bite. Show good. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Sari gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Jeez, I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh. Don't you think she... She has a... I wouldn't be surprised. A boyfriend. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's true. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? That's why she doesn't show up in the thingy. Monica quiz quizzically glances at me. That's why she doesn't show up in the thingy. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard all the bell heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played a music as well, Monica. I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Uh, Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Penta. Yeah, damn right. Monica smiles sweetly and then goes into a Taekwondo position. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I... <laughs> you're changing your story now, Monica. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. Because I was mentioned. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki's disappeared into the closet. There's gonna be something about that closet later. There's gonna be something about that closet. Hey Yuri! Eh? Ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, no, I was just kind of waiting for you. Oh, well, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing that can get me reading time, or get, make my reading time any better. It's a nice cup of tea. You guys reading that right there? You guys reading that right there? Not to mention yourself as well. Oh no. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. So gingerly. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Oh, leggy late. Now nah, just... <sighs> Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Huh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. 
Where are you two off to? To see your boyfriend, Monica. Eh? We're just... Yuri was gonna make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was being a just a bit curious. That's kind of one person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to tell... Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Penta in club activities? Eh. My mouth gapes. And she goes into a taekwondo, taekwondo position again. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Why are you moo I'm nearly mooning Yuri? You're attacking her with a hair. What are you, freaking Sindel from Mortal Kombat? Get down. Get down. <sighs> then let's go, Penta. Very quickly ex 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 <laughs> Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly pulls her, puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it also brought... Not right for Monica to judge people like that. Penta. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? You got... I made your boobs bigger. With magic. Because... Nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We all have emotions, and we can't always hide them. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Eh. Uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for Sammy Hef... <laughs> you can't hate for someone for Sammy Hef... He's Hogo Sammy Sosa. I can't hate someone for having emotions. Quite a friend would do that friend you say um yuri lifts her head penta i really like being friends with you <laughs> thanks yuri i like being friends with you too i feel kind of awkward saying something like that it's a very awkward thing to say i'll be honest but i'm doing my best to help yuri feel better anyway yeah shall we go yeah yuri and i walk to the nearest water fountain once we fill up the water pitcher we return to the classroom Penta, do you like oolong tea? I like oolong from Dragon Ball. Ah, yeah. Anything was fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> That's that probably not what she sounded like. In that case, you'll only even be more impressed. Well, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. Turns out it's not hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Oh my god, I've known her for two days and already... Bursting buttons off of the blouse and boobies are getting bigger because of magical powers. But it's see who's around anyway? Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. Ah, push it. You're always worrying me, Penta. Or worried about me, Penta. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I didn't even know it could keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Penta, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Very true. I can move my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Very true. I love sitting on the floor. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize. No worries. I just had to back... I just have back pain in fairly regularly, so I don't do my best to manage it. We're the same person. Here, we're the same exact person. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because of my... Your, it's your giant breasts and your long legs. Let's not beat around the bush! Listen, this is not even like a, a, an over-sexualized... I mean, they're going to sexualize it, but it's not even an over sexual thing. Big breasts cause back pains. Two of my close friends in real life had breast reduction surgery because it was either get their titties smaller or go in for surgery on their back. It was one of the two. Making the boobies a little bit smaller to give yourself no back pain? Thumbs up. Yuri, you're in the same boat. Your boobies are too big. Don't be shamed. Don't be ashamed. Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, it's not true. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. 
I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve my book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I keep hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. You're in, I sit against the wall, teacups at her sides. I've never had chocolate with tea. For my uh, European and or uh, people over in Asia, my Japanese or Chinese or Vietnamese or Taiwanese or... Taiwanese? That's it, right? Taiwanese? I'm not insulting people, I hope. Uh, or just like over in Europe. Is chocolate good with tea? I've never had chocolate with tea. I don't know. Seems like it might be a good idea, but they, they say it's good, so maybe it is good. I don't know. Sitting against the wall with the tea cups against our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time. Position as last time. Carly Ray Jepsen. Each holding one half of the book, except this time our bodies are even closer to each other. Closer to one another, I think, would be the correct gramma grammatical phrasing there. Not closer to each other, closer to one another. I can't see too well. Y Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? You just read the paper, dude! Yuri always is kind of. Yuri was always kind of cute, but. When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. I said that's so sensual, I'm sorry. <laughs> holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Let me be, let, let me just like, again, I want to pull, pull, reel it back a little bit. Ask somebody who's been in this situation before... The movies and the TV shows play it up like it's this huge deal. Most of the t a girl's boobs, most of the time, especially like with like in this at this age of their life with like a bra and shit on, at, if you brisk or bump or touch or rub or graze while in an awkward position or going upstairs into an elevator, whatever the case may be, they're not gonna give a shit. If they do give a shit, that's just because they're an asshole. It's no different than accidentally touching your butt to somebody else's butt while sneaking past them in a lunch line. Shit happens, your bodies will touch. If you graze her boob while grabbing a teacup, don't freaking get a nosebleed and bust a hole in the door with your boner. Just act, but be natural, friend, be natural. Of course she hasn't noticed a single thing. She has boobs attached to her since she was born. They're there, they get in the way sometimes. She wears her intense reading expression, and only I can presume the world around her has faded away. And then there's the uh, situations where if a woman is attracted to somebody, or a man is attracted to somebody, maybe they put themselves in a position to have them grazed intentionally. Gotta keep that in mind as well. I've done that. I have made people grab my butt because they were beautiful. Not ashamed of it. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with a chocolate wrapper. I'm oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening up the wrapper. Get to that chocolate, boy. You can have as much as you want. No, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Maybe she. Maybe chocolate isn't good with tea. Maybe Yuri's the key to the kingdom here. Maybe chocolate isn't good with tea. She is the one explaining that it isn't. If I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Also a fair point. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Dun, 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 dun. Yuri opens the book with both hands. This sounds like Zelda music. She holds it so that I don't have to have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Perfectly natural position. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate. And I hold it up to Yuri. Oh! She doesn't even have to look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I appreh apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. She catches your thumb, doesn't she? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Penta? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. That's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? Oh no! That's not something that friends do. 
and everybody else in the room better be witnessing what is happening right now. I fed that woman a chocolate. Rose cheeks got all rosy. Not really in this kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. Oh, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't even avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of the breaths. Phone, it's not time now! Get away! This is a serious situation, Phone! He just interrupted me possibly making her boobs bigger again with my magical powers. Freaking Phone doesn't understand the situation that we're in right now, guys. I raise my arm. <sighs> like before Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath against my fingers. Okay, everyone! <laughs> yes! The timing is so good! Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Benda, can you help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? I'll put away her tea. It's not a euphemism, guys. Don't use that one, please. <laughs> Hashtag, I'll put away your tea. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. Spell is abruptly broken. What a spell it was. I'll I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I'll pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without much of a, much as a word between us. Is it okay? I don't want to go to this like place. But the situation that just happened, this sentence can be applied to the situation that would have happened. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much of as a word between us. I mean, hashtag giggity. I don't know. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring us to the end of another episode of Yuri... Wait. Yuri and Penta Doki Doki inside of the teacups. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Doki Doki The Nurture Club. We're going to be going after Yuri again. We're going to save her for last. In this time, we're going to probably go like... Maybe Natsuki. Maybe a Sayori. Maybe a Monica. Then maybe a Yuri. I don't know curious that they all have eyes in their name popular letter i will find thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video as always let me know what you think down below how you guys like in the series what do you think of the game i know we're gonna get into some deep shit soon i'm preparing for it i'm a little terrified i've told i've been told this game is quite terrifying as from a, like a, a mental illness standpoint so i'm preparing myself that's why i'm kind of coding myself with this the sense of humor I'm, i've got right now is i'm i'm building up my own sense of confidence so that when the shit does start going off the rails, I'll be prepared, even though I'm not prepared. Thanks for watching.